What's going on everybody? Welcome back, Bond's Apartment YouTube channel. I am Luke, and today we are going to take a look at my sunglass collection. Okay, so last week, maybe the week before, I posted something on my Instagram asking um, people what they would like to see. And I actually got not only a, quite a few responses, but a lot of good ideas. And uh, the first one that really caught my eye was uh, sunglass collection. So I think there's a couple more than what I have here, and there's been other ones in the past. But uh, we will take a look at these six. But first, I want to shout out Shane from its 007 Islander, not 007 Islander. This was Shane's idea, so thank you, Shane. Appreciate it. And uh, I think I'm going to choose a few more of the ideas that I got um, for the next few videos. But let's dive into this while we're here. So the first one we'll do, and every single one of these has a story, except for one pair. So I guess we'll just start with those just to get them out of the way. But the first ones are these Burberry sunglasses. These are, are a tortoise matte. So they've got this interesting, and now you're just gonna say ring light, but I'll put pictures up, of course. This interesting little bar on top, which when I first got them in the mail, I kind of thought about taking the, that bar off, but they're nice because they're, they're durable and they're very light. Um, I don't wear them very often anymore, Maybe I'll start trying to again. But so these are the Burberry 4244-F tortoise sunglasses. And these are the only Burberry I have and the only sunglass or eyeglass that I've ever had from Burberry. So that is the first one. So the second pair has a little bit of a story to it. So these are Carrera sunglasses. So these have a mirror finish, which now you'll just get to see everything I'm doing. <laughs> but uh, so in the picture for these, the way that they're positioned, it looks more of like a kind of like a John Lennon, like a clear bluish finish. And I was like, that's kind of cool. And I really like Formula One and, and Carrera is a big Formula One or like racing brand. And um, these are interesting because they're made out of um, like bendable metal. So you can literally like bend this metal and, and nothing really happens, which is definitely kind of cool. But um, these are the Carrera 216GS. So these are like a round mirrored sunglass. My fiance does not like these and uh, I don't blame her, but you know, what can you do? See, and, and another reason I, I bought these What's for a long time, I thought Carrera was actually a Bond brand. I thought we saw Roger Moore wear a couple different types of Carrera, which they ended up not being. But for a second there, I thought there was a Bond connection. Maybe one day there is, but uh, as of right now, there is not. So that is pair number two. So pair number three, we'll go with the classic Ray-Ban aviators. These are literally gold with the like light green lens but this is like your classic aviator everything from standard size to you know real top gun vibes here but the story behind this one is when i was living in new york j crew was selling ray-ban sunglasses and i asked a friend of mine if he would come with me just like hey you want to go to and this was the j crew in rockefeller center i believe and uh i asked him if he'd come with me just you know to kind of shoot the breeze and go for a little stroll. And then he actually ended up buying me these. I don't know why. CJ, I'm gonna shout him out. Thank you for these. I still have them and I still wear them. Um, but yeah, these are classic, just classic aviators. Um, like I said, everything from the size to the color of the frame to the color of the lens, probably a staple everybody should have. It took me a while to get used to wearing an aviator. Um, but yeah, I think everybody should have a pair of these. Number three. Okay, so up next, we will jump into these. So these are 
Ray-Ban Clubmasters, I believe these are called. So it's got like a Wayfair look to them. But yeah, so these are the Clubmaster, and normally the Clubmaster is plastic, but these are actually metal. And as you can probably see, they're much thinner. These, when I saw, so I bought these in Florida last year with my fiance. And um, when I saw these, I wanted these immediately. I loved how thin every, literally every aspect of this sunglass, every part of the frame is very thin. I like this kind of black and gray gradient lens here. Um, like I said, Clubmaster, and the number on these is 3716. So yeah, little story behind those, got these in Florida. First, first real vacation with my fiance. So these I wear, these are probably, between these and one other pair down here are probably my everyday sunglasses. So that's the, the next one. So now we'll move on to these. These are my favorite by far. These are also Ray-Ban Aviators, but they are a smaller. So, I mean, they have a millimeter for this. I got these through Wink Optics. Shout out to Jen at Wink Optics. But, uh, and referred by Mr. David Zaritsky, none other than David Zaritsky. Um, the reason I got these is I kept seeing him wear them. And I can't remember if his are prescription or if he just had the, uh, the Ray-Ban logo taken off, because I know that's, that's not too difficult to do. But it kind of threw me because of the size of them on him. And then, um, you know, I was just like, what, what the hell are those? And then he told me exactly what they were, the exact frame size and everything. And I completely copied him and reached out to Jen, at, or I think it's Jenny, Jenny, Jen, same thing, uh, at Wink Optics and uh, got these from her at a hell of a hell of a price too. But these are like an all gold frame again, but with a gradient, kind of like a goldish, brownish gradient here. And just the size of these on my face over the typical aviator, I, I highly prefer. So I can tell you one thing right now, if I ever buy more aviators, it will definitely be the smaller frame size over the standard or the large. So that is the next pair. Okay, so last but not least, the pair of sunglasses with the, the best story of them all are these Persols. These are the 3020 Persols. So these I've had for, I think, about 10 years now. And I actually bought these at Persol on Rodeo Drive. So this was pre even realizing that they were Persols in Casino Royale. I was still, you know, 19 or 20 at the time, maybe 21. I can't do math. But I bought these because I was on Rodeo Drive. I was there on vacation. And um, I wanted to get something in LA to kind of commemorate the trip, but also something other than like a t shirt, something that I could have forever. And truly, 10 years, maybe even more, 11 years I've had these. Um, the style is a little, I don't want to go entirely as far as saying outdated, but you know, I prefer, I mean, this is thin, especially for that time period for Persol, these like legs of the frame here, but now I prefer something even thinner. And then they wear kind of heavy in the front, um, you know, and, and not so much heavy in weight, but heavy in you know, it's just, you can kind of feel it just everywhere. They're very, you know, once you put them on, they feel bulky. So, um, but yeah, I mean, great story to have gotten these right on Rodeo Drive at Persol and to still have them. It shows how, how well I take care of my things, which is good, you know, because these, of course, were, were not cheap. They were brand new at the time. Um, but yeah, so these are the only Persols I have. Honorable mention, I did actually have another pair of Persols before. Those were the 3166S. I think they called them like the photographer or something, but I wore those so often that the frame actually split, like right, right by the nose. So I wore those like every day, as you can see in this picture here. Um, and then lastly, honorable mention, not so honorable though, is one of the sunglasses you see a lot of people wear in films are the Randolph Aviators. So I had the gunmetal Randolph Aviators, also expensive, you know, upwards of 300. And I had the regular 55 millimeter. But when I bought them, 
they showed up in the mail and I wore them for like a day. And then the second day having them, I took them off and I looked down at the lens. So kind of like in, I'll show you like in this corner area, there was already like a stress crack. And it's like, they're, they're literally called Randolph engineering. They're supposed to be incredible. And to have a stress crack in the lens after a day, which maybe they could have fixed for free. I don't know how it would have worked, but it kind of like rubbed me the wrong way. So just return them. And, uh, that's it. So that's it for my sunglass collection at this point. Surprisingly, I know no Tom Ford in here. Um, there's been a few that I've liked, but I don't know which ones I would get. I can tell you one thing though. It wouldn't be the Snowden, not for, not for my face, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Be sure to like, and subscribe. Once again, this is Luke from Bond's apartment. See you next week.